I think as a black artist in this uh, moment and time, I definitely want to be a part of showing people a world that looks different than what they have historically been allowed to see. And, you know, the idea is, is to not make the world limited, but actually to make it larger and to show how when you put somebody of colour in a role like that, you're actually distilling these things down to human emotion and experience and seeing how it actually is so relatable in a way that is universal. And if people would allow that in, then maybe they might see and feel that. And really that was the hope. At the end of the day, black actors in America struggle to have representation, struggle to get work, struggle to tell their own stories. So there's gonna be a sensitivity and attachment that says, no, I only we can tell that story, you can't tell it. You know, but the idea is to come to that place and come to that storytelling with love, with, with empathy, with compassion, with respect, with the utmost reverence, and to, and, and to involve every community whose story that we're trying to tell, make sure that the people from that community are involved in that storytelling so that at the end of the day, we all feel seen. With Me Too, when then what you saw is suddenly they were like, let's give an opportunity to a female director. Mm. You know, and it was not about, it was just, you know, it was more about, let me just do this thing and, and, it, and let me just give this opportunity and then it's like, we're waiting for it to fail. And so then we can say, well, it doesn't work, see? Right. And the other thing that I see very much is opportunities are given to female filmmakers, opportunities are given to f filmmakers of color, and then they are not supported. So they're fighting to get what they're, they're doing done. You know, and you're just like, how does that make sense? Where is the, 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 the language about being an ally? What happened to that? I'm most proud of having an attitude that says, I don't know everything and I have so much to learn. Because I think that alone allows me to resist stagnation, to resist my ego, to resist any of those things that limit me. I feel like we're always, we are taught, we're conditioned to apologize for our existence, for being in the space. And I want my daughter to understand that she doesn't have to do that. When people limit us, how do we respond to that? Do we have limiting conversations about ourselves? Do we show up in smallness in the world? Or do we show up in all of our large splendor, unafraid to let people know that we're here to take up space?